Hey everyone, Broadbent here and welcome to my modded Valheim series. The goal of this series is to explore what mods have to offer, completely changing the way the game plays, adding new content, and really unlocking the game's potential. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, so let's get started. Okay, so... I just loaded in the world, and all the items that just came in are big teasers on what's going to be happening today. Yeah, I should already know. So today, we're basically going to be coming Walter White, but not quite as uh, hardcore. We're going to be growing weed in the bottom of the castle. Uh, so a couple of episodes ago, I think actually, yeah, two episodes ago, I did build a hidden underground basement in my basement in the castle, and it's super sick. I asked you if you could guess what's going to be going in here, and I think a handful of people actually got it. So right down here, there's actually a hidden door in here. Look at that. Now, I've actually updated the mod recently, and the developer, Frogger, has added more, uh, more doors. Actually, a three-high door right here. So we're going to swap this out. And chuck in the three high one, I think. It's not 100% required, but I think it'll just look a little nicer, honestly. So there we go. That should now blend. It does. It blends so much better. Except I built it the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That is so sick. And if you have a good ear, it now makes a stone sound effect. Frogger... That is perfect. So good. I love it. Now, it looks like I'm actually getting attacked by Grey Dwarfs again. This is a problem. I need to fix the spawning, because this is really bad. Okay, I'm just throwing down a few quick workbenches here. There's a troll. Okay, hopefully this place is a little bit more peaceful now. Actually, I think I can throw down maybe an extra two workbenches. Let's get one on top of that hill. Okay. Let's get back to work, shall we? I think now this area is completely prepped for today. So, I, <laughs> I'm in love with that, man. That's so good. It blends so well. Right. Today, we're going to be growing weed down here. And I've got to figure out the correct way to do it. I need to organize this. So, um... If you look at my crafting recipes, we can make joint paper right here with, with two dandelions. Luckily, I have lots of them. Weed seeds require three ancient seeds, and that is what I need to get started. That entrance looks so much better now it's opened up. 100%. Right, so let's go and craft our seeds. Now, this is not the only thing I plan on doing today. I actually want to work on the castle a little bit as well. I've got one specific thing in mind, uh, which should work very well. Do I have any ancients? I do. Awesome. I don't even need to pick them up. Let's just go to the workbench. I can probably just craft them here, actually, come to think of it. Weed seeds. Let's go. I might make a few, but I think we only need one. Uh, seeds of the marijuana plant. So, we can now make the weed plant. I assume that's in the cultivator menu. There it is. Okay. Um, right. Let's see where we can plant this. I do have quite a lot of seeds, so I've got a backup. Um, I'm going to try and place it, as silly as it sounds, directly on stone, maybe? In fact, no, that's silly. What I'm going to do is plant this out here for now. Pretty much right at the entrance. Let's do it here, just because... <laughs> okay. Just because I feel like I'm going to multiply this quite a bit. That's going to take an hour and six minutes. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, well, it gives us time to plan the layout of this place down here. So, we know that we now need cultivated soil to get started. So, what I'm going to do is, I think, dig a couple of rows up here. If I do that and that, this could work. So, I'm trying to make, basically, lanes. <laughs> it's not going... Exactly as I imagined, unfortunately. But, making progress. I need cultivated soil down here, so I want to have the plant raised as well. So, this could work. 
Something a lot like that is what I'm after. And then have the plant in here. But it's just this looks really ugly. So I don't really know how to fix that. I don't think I can. Alright, so I've got these two lanes right here. And obviously this has not turned out exactly as I wanted. However, what I can do is get the level ground tool and shrink it like this. And hopefully level out a bit of this stuff right here. So it looks like I can carve... I could carve a little area here, but I'm going to have to, like, increase it by one and keep trying. Okay, this isn't working. I'm going to go to plan B. Plan B is to, quite simply, just raise a very specific piece of ground in the middle here. Like this. And hopefully, like that, it will spike above the ground. So, if I chuck in one of these... I'm going to place the plant on here, pretty much. There we go! I think I just got it! Oh my god. Okay, so if I get the cultivator out and try and place that here... I mean, obviously I'm missing the requirement. But that should work. So three plants here, two plants here, and then another three there. This could work. Now, in terms of how deep this mod actually goes, uh, it's called Valweed. I don't know. I don't know if you can do any cloning and stuff like that. I don't think there are uh, genetics, but still, I mean, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is exactly what I planned for this place. This is so sick. That looks really weird there, though. It's like a double layer. Oh. That did not go to plan at all. Damn it. I messed up. All right, plan B is complete. Before I go any further with it, I want to test and make sure this thing is actually working. Uh, but you can see here, I've got three tiny little things, tiny, above the ground. Um, so I'm going to check if the plants are actually going to grow on here. The question is, will this work? It needs cultivated soil. So I think that one isn't cultivated, but these are. Um, so I'm going to fix that really quickly. I don't want to mess anything up. Because these plants are quite expensive. Yeah, I see the problem. There we go. I think that has worked. I'm going to level this just a touch more. Because they're quite pointy. That should be working. I think this one's actually not even cultivated. I can't tell. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Oh, it's going green. This one isn't green, though. So this one's working, but this one is not. All right, we're moving to plan C now. <laughs> this is just... This would work. It's just way too fiddly. I spent like half an hour trying to get three of these working alone, so this is a no-go, unfortunately. You have to rethink this. This next idea basically has it growing against the walls right here. I'm not as much of a fan of this because it leaves a lot of empty space, but I don't know. It's room for like work workbenches and stuff like that, so we're going to give this a go. Hopefully this is a bit more fruitful. All right, that has worked quite well. I've got one sort of... I don't know, planter bed right here. That has turned out really well. This one's going to be a bit more tricky because I've got the courtyard up there and it'll mess up the terrain, but I should be able to fix it fairly easily. But now I've said that, it's going to be horrible. So, this, once it's cultivated, will work beautifully. I'm very happy with this. Let's just uh, cultivate this right now, actually. Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's destroying things in the ground. Oh my god, that was not a good sound. No, sir. Okay, so only a minor... A minor mishap right here. This is actually really, really easily fixable. I'm just gonna level this out fairly carefully. And this should fix right up. Hopefully everything's looking okay. A little bit messy. But very, very doable. So I'm just gonna chip away at this ground. Hopefully that doesn't mess anything up upstairs. No. Beautiful. Alright, so. I think we're done with the planters. If I can just get that, thank you. Completely forgot that I've got to cultivate it here. Hopefully this doesn't mess anything up even more. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Lovely. Okay, so, wow, 423. Oh, I missed 420! <laughs> What I'm going to do is mess around with the idea of the lighting that is basically artificial light that will grow the plants. So, I think I can mount circling cores to the item stands. So, 
that should work here. So I noticed it already has quite a lot of light in, um, but I've added these, which is supposed to um, look like fluorescent lights. I don't think I've done a very good job. It's okay. Um, but what I'm going to do is chuck on these. And if I flip it upside down like that, I think this will work really well. So let's try and place these fairly evenly here. Um, we'll go with one there. And then one at the very end over here. And then we'll meet it halfway. And then check another one in here. That might be enough. And then the idea is... We just attach these to the item stands. <laughs> Hell yeah. Which isn't actually bad. It's just not as... Uh, it's not exactly what I was expecting. Now, I don't even know if these are the right types of lights that people use to grow um, grow marijuana. I don't really know much about this topic. But this, I think, does fit the look. <laughs> Which is what I'm going for. I'm going after the look. There we have it. Look at that. I might make this a bit bigger. Um, but generally speaking, I'm really happy with that. So, let's go and check on our plants here. Hopefully, it's got some more... 10 minutes. So it's been, I've been working on this for 50 minutes. <gasps> wow. Well, this place is where all the illegal stuff happens. So we're going to need a place to work on, um, on the cuttings. So we need to trim it off and things like that. So we're going to need a table. I'm thinking that we need to reset the rotation. I'm thinking over here looks pretty good for that. The portal's kind of in the way though. You know, we're going to move the portal. Ah, yes. Buying fine wood. Very expensive, but honestly, not too bad. I've just bought how much? 239 fine wood. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm going to throw in a few item stands here that will hold some clippings and maybe some seeds and things like that. Um, I don't think I need to go crazy. Uh, hopefully, I can actually mount them to it, but... Yeah, this is looking so good. Also, just chucking in some banners really quickly. Obviously, they are green. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Also, with this mod, we've got the bong, which we can build. I'm going to chuck this, obviously, right here. I'm missing some resources. Let's place that right here. <laughs> it takes fuel. Use weed buds and use item. Okay, so... I just need my plant to grow right now, and then we should be good to go. There we go. Weed buds. We take those. It looks like I didn't get any seeds back. I already had those. Seed weed plant. Where is that? Hold on. That's a new... There it is. So you can, in fact, clone it, basically. Wow, okay. Interesting. Looks like that time I only got one... One bud. So I'm not entirely sure if you can... You know, multiply. Does that make sense? Interesting. Okay, well, we're gonna head down into the basement right now. I just heard stone collapsing. We're gonna head into the basement and plant these down here. That one there, like that. Hopefully that's fine. And then the next one, we'll spread them out a little bit. Maybe we can fit four on here. Like that. All right, well, that's just going to take some time. A leaning for some reason. Why are they leaning? Oh, I had rotation on. <laughs> well, I'm just going to jump cut until these plants are ready. And I guess I'll see you then. Hopefully we can get this place completely full today. Hey, there we go. Weed buds, two of them. Looks like they actually grew vertically and not <laughs> not at an angle. And I got loads. No, I only got two? I'm confused. Oh, no, wait. <gasps> oh, wait, 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 wait. What just happened? So I got weed buds from one thing and then I got two seeds from the other. So I think... I think it's a lot like the... Um, Carrots and all the vanilla plants, basically. 
Either way, I'm just going to chuck these back down again. So let's get the weed plant here and here. And then we're going to chuck our third plant. So we definitely multiplied in some way. This is the seed weed plant. Plant this to grow some seedy weed. So this will give us some seeds. And this will give us weed buds. <laughs> I'm a little confused right now. But that should be the, uh, the idea here. So I'm going to wait another hour. In fact, before I go, one thing I'm going to do is just make... I'm going to use pretty much all of these seeds right here just to speed up the growth. Because why not, honestly? Let's make, I think, two more. And I'll leave six over for anything else. That makes sense to me. All right, one there and one there. Healthy, 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 healthy. They're actually very close together, so I think I got lucky there. Right, so we've got four plants on the go, and then one seed, I think, ready to go. So, this should work. It's definitely multiplying. All right. Finally, these things are ready. I think. Yes, there we are. So, what I'm going to do is harvest the seeds first. <laughs> Look at that. That's so sick. Seeds first. I got... Three seeds from now. Wow. Is it getting better every time I do it? Anyhow, uh, let's harvest all of these now. So, one weed buds. Two, three. I got six. Wow. Okay, so it looks like it is actually partially random here. So, I'm going to save some of this stuff to actually start and craft with it. Because I want to see what this can do. So I'm going to go and plant the weed seeds first right here. So we'll put one, two, and three. And then I'm going to keep the weed buds. Yes, we're going to keep this. This is a good usable product. <laughs> so we're going to complete the look with five there, five there. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's great. It, it hides the item stand. I mean, that's a separate mod, but look at that, man. Wow. Okay, so what can we craft with... Uh, we need to make some joint paper. So let's head over to the farm really quickly. Oh, wait. There we go. Do some farming of some dandelions. And let's grab some. So, joint paper. Let's craft uh, some of those. I don't know, let's get... Whoa, I've got loads of recipes. Let's craft two and head over to the cave. So we might need a workbench, I think, for this. Oh, wait, we can make joint hybrid. And what else can we make? Okay, there's different types. Of course there is. You feel motivated. Hunger rate is minus 50%. What does that really mean? Does that mean food's gonna go away faster? Or it's gonna last longer? I don't know what that means. Hunger rate. That's a very strange way to word that. But we can make this one, which makes you rested. Wow. You can be rested out on the out on a journey. If you are already rested, the time will be increased by this buff's duration. This is halved if you are already high. Right. So, um, I think... I'm not too sure which is going to be the best one here. This one... I kind of want to try all of them out. I, I have three, so I'm going to do that. Let's make one more joint paper and make each one of these. Okay, we have three joints. <laughs> Smoke a fat doobie. Awesome. So this one's apparently balanced. I wish it said more, but that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is eat some fresh food. And these are going to last 20 minutes and 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is have this... This one, because I'm more curious, so. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. So I wonder if the food's going to last longer now, or if it's going to deplete quicker. Uh, I don't know. That's so sick. You blow the smoke everywhere. And that lasts for 10 minutes. Wow. That's so good. Unfortunately, I don't have any more buds to use the bong here. That's just unfortunate, but... We do have two more spliffs, so we've got the hybrid and the indicer, I think that's how you pronounce that. Or indica, I, I don't know. <laughs> mm. 
This is halved if you're already high. So I am already high. Whoa, there's eyes in there. You see that? <gasps> Whoa, that's weird. Uh, so I kind of want to use the other one. I mean, this one's a hybrid. I'm rested by 20 minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. If you are already rested, the time will be increased by this buff's duration. I'm, I'm rested for 30 minutes now. <gasps> wow. And then, so what are we at? 30 minutes rested. I'm going to go for all three. Screw it. Probably shouldn't. <laughs> oh, that's so good. So one thing I'm going to work on is this area out here. It needs a roof and a barrier and some things that I'm just I'm really missing. So I'm going to get to work with that and hopefully I will see you soon. Oh, I'm coming. I got so confused by that. I thought it was an event. Wow, I'm no longer on my high, I guess. I'm at least my original high. <laughs> I've got two others. Wow, okay. So this is what I'm thinking for the roof. It's actually going to look a lot more like this over here. Um, obviously with the extra spikes and stuff going down there. It's just a, a bit better than nothing is what I'm thinking. And obviously I could have, um, supports and stuff here. I don't think it's half bad if I'm honest. Well, all of my 10 minute highs have worn off. But I will say, the one that makes you rested for an extra, I think it's double if you don't already have an existing high is very useful. I'm actually really happy with that. So I might even just use that uh, daily. <laughs> so let's go down and check on the current grow. Mm, okay, this is going to take a while here, but I would say that that is a rather conclusive sort of test right there. I definitely will use it. Which one is... I think it's... No, I don't know if this one worked or not. I don't think that did anything, at least in my tests. And it's this. Makes you rested. If you are already rested, the time will be increased by this buff's duration. Isn't that good? Like, it, it basically added an extra 50% onto my rested time for free. So that was really nice. Of course, it's raining right when I'm going to end the video, but that is unfortunately a wrap for this video. A wrap. Do you get it? So, that, I hope you guys enjoyed this mod showcase and experiment. I will be keeping this in the world. I hope you also liked my build down here. It's not perfect, but it's as good as I could get it. There's only so much you can do, and I feel like I did a fairly decent job here. But what we're going to do is close these doors so no prying eyes can find it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you next time.